Personally, I like back. Back's one of my favorite body parts to train. As a bodybuilder, um, it's a lifestyle. So I honestly like to train every single body part. I'm excited to hit the gym every single day. Even on my off days, I'm always thinking about the gym, always thinking about training. So <clears throat> to be honest with you, I love training every single body part. But if I had to choose one body part, it'd definitely be back. My meals typically look like ground beef, chicken, fish, uh, yams, white rice, and greens, pretty much. Egg whites, oatmeal, it's pretty much all it consists of. I usually have seven meals a day total, and uh, I, I don't really count shakes as a meal, but I usually have a, a post-workout shake as well. Shreds protein with a little bit of carbs as well. Usually what I, what I hate to eat the most is fish, definitely fish. I was never, never a big fish person ever growing up. Um, usually, usually I call it hell week, the last week of you know, my prep, a week out. I'm eating about six fish meals a day, all tilapia. But I do use my Flavor God seasoning, which I love. I put uh, usually the ev everything flavor or the garlic lovers. It's definitely my favorite, definitely does the job. Uh, really kills that fish taste. So, I mean, as far as hating what I eat, it'd probably be the tilapia. Can anybody be a bodybuilder? I personally think anybody can definitely be a bodybuilder. You know, <clears throat> genetics definitely play a role, but if you have heart and you have dedication and you have a sick work ethic, you know, anything's possible. You kill it in the gym, you're consistent with your diet, you stay focused, you know, in and out of the gym, you can definitely be a bodybuilder and you could definitely live, you know, as a bodybuilder to your full potential. Off-season cardio, I would recommend, I personally do 30 minutes fasted three times a week just to keep the cardiovascular system running, uh, metabolism up, and uh, just to keep the heart healthy. During my training for the show, I took, you know, a good amount of shred supplements. I took creatine, I took the testinate. I am actually taking the burner max right now that we just got. Awesome energy, awesome stamina, awesome endurance. Uh, performance pre-workout has really been doing the job for me. Energy levels are low, so <clears throat> the supplements are really helping me maximize all my workouts, as well as shreds protein post-workout. That's definitely essential. Uh, I, I feel like you know there's there's a lot of pressure on me, but I know that I'm going to bring my best package to the stage, and I know I'm I'm, I'm really going to kill it when I get up there. I'm going to shock a lot of people, turn a lot of heads, and it's it's definitely going to be a good pro debut. As far as uh, a struggle phase or a struggle week, I would say it's the last week of my prep. That's when I have to eat all these fish meals, about six fish meals a day. I really don't like to eat fish, but you know, I do it because I have to, and it makes me look my best, it really thins out the skin, and really makes me nice and, you know, vascular, gets me ready, you know, show prep, and I'm literally paper thin. So, as far as, you know, hell week, I would call this hell week, my last week of prep. But, you know, I, I, still, I still love every single second of it, man. I love what I do. Just really, just knowing that one day I'm really gonna actually make it to the top. I'm gonna be successful. No matter what, I'm gonna make it happen. You know, that's my mentality. I have, you know, a great work ethic and I'm, I'm gonna kill it to the last breath. And I just wanna thank all my family, my supporters, my fans, everybody on social media that shows me so much love and support. You guys are actually my motivators as well. You guys help me get up in the morning. You guys push me as well. So I wanna thank you guys. Prior to the Phoenix Europa, um, I was told last year that I had to bring up my back, uh, my back thick, this upper chest, a little bit of size of my legs to be you know, a top contender in the 212 class. And I feel like I really have done that. I brought up all these body parts and I'm definitely gonna be a competitor and I'm gonna fight and I'm gonna battle on stage and I'm really, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn some heads and really make it happen this year. The feeling I get when I go out on stage is, is unbelievable. It's, it's a feeling like none other. It's a feeling that I literally wait for all year long to step on stage for three minutes. Uh, I mean, everything is literally, everything totally blocks out. I hear nothing, I see nothing. All it is is me, myself, and my posing and just showing off everything I worked for for that entire year. 
for three minutes on stage. The first time I ever competed, when I went on stage, I was nervous. Once I got up there, I was like, wow, this really isn't that bad. You know, it's, it's actually really you know, comfortable up here. I was actually really comfortable up there. And ever since then, um, I had no problem being up there. I enjoyed being up there and I enjoyed, you know, having the crowd, you know, scream when I hit, you know, the front double bicep and go crazy. So I haven't really been nervous for any of my past shows. So I'm actually really excited to step on stage for my pro debut and really make it happen. It would be my dream come true to qualify for the Olympia. And that's my goal to qualify and be up on an Olympia stage next year. So I am planning on going in there and killing it, killing it for shreds, killing it for the shreds army, getting up there and taking first place. And uh, I'm gonna be up there on the Olympia stage 2016, you bet that. As far as Arnold uh, wanting to bring back the old aesthetic look, I totally agree with him. I totally agree with the small waist the, uh, aesthetic look. Um, really small waist V taper, X frame. That's what uh, that's what we've been looking for. That's what the judges have actually been looking for. And you can tell that a lot more competitors are coming in. You know, totally shredded, a lot more better conditioned. And that's what really what we're looking for. And that's what Arnold was explaining. And I, I definitely agree with that.